Well, good morning, everyone. I'm using the mic, so I'm hoping that you can hear me over the, the traffic. It's a little later in the, in the morning. So the store is open and we're hard at work. We're hardly working. It's a, it's a change of season, and, and usually the first week in September, we don't see a lot of people because they're adjusting to getting back to work and school and all that sort of stuff. But the, uh, the um, humidity is, is breaking. It's still really hot inside. I gotta be honest, my uh, my thinking isn't uh, all that straight uh, right now. It's uh, it's just my brain is fried. It, uh, hanging out in that kind of humidity for for so many days and for so long in the day, it's just uh, it's it's not as sharp um, and it's not processing. And uh, some of my uh, barriers aren't in, in place and some of my filters <laughs> are a little damaged so it's uh yeah so that's where i am right now but uh, knowing that we have a a healer and uh he knows his body he occupies his body and uh, he is my protector my defender so i trust that so we're, we're continuing to read through uh ezekiel here and um um the, 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 the last chapter we read today contained a, a lot of stuff and uh, you know, one of the things that was being said is that the, uh, the person who's been given the assignment to, to look for the, for the enemy, um, if he sees the enemy and gives the warning cry and nobody does ab anything about it, then, then their death is upon themselves. Uh, they're, they're the ones who, who didn't respond to the warning. And, uh, and then at the same time, if, uh, if the person who's, who's watching uh, and sees the enemy coming and uh, doesn't announce it, then all the deaths that ensue are upon that, that one person. And it, it really is a, a warning. Um, for those of us who know, know the truth, we're supposed to be sharing the truth. And it doesn't mean that, that people are going to, be, going to respond to it, but we, we have a responsibility and we have to discharge our responsibility uh, the best that, that we can and, and under the talents and uh, the giftings that the Lord has given to us to, to do such. Uh, and that's done through friendship, it's done through uh, all kinds of, kinds of ways. Um, but that is our responsibility and, and we need to to go with it. Now, the, the part that I really wanted to touch on, though, was uh, what he was saying, and it's, it's good news. I, I love this good news. Um, that the, the, the wicked, uh, if the, the wicked are not never completely lost. The, the wicked are those who are in rebellion, those who, uh, and, and remember that here, I, I want to stress that the, the prophet is talking to the nation of Israel. God is telling about the nation of Israel. This isn't about the whole world. This is about Israel. And these are, are his children, and they should know better. And, and so the way that we have to apply this is um, talking to the church. And, and those who, who have turned away, those who are doing their own thing, those who have been... Uh, uh, following wrong doctrine, those who uh, are making up their own gospel to fit their own selfish indulgence, uh, is it, really that's what we need to be comparing it to. And, um, and, and the Lord is saying here, and we all live by this, is, this is the gospel, that if the wicked uh, turn, turn from their ways and turn to the Lord, that they will be saved. And, and that's a given. We live that reality. That's, that's our mission. That's our purpose. Uh, is, is to help people see the goodness of the Lord and, and that they would turn away from, from their self-destruction. Um, but the, the other part that he says there is that a person who trusts in their, their, in their righteousness and, and does their own thing, their righteousness will not save them. Uh, and and that's, a, a very, that's an important thing that we, we, we speak about in the church. Um, we, we are the children. We are the children. We, we will never stop being the children. Uh, we are not sinners saved by grace. Uh, we were sinners. 
but we don't identify to that anymore because that is not our core anymore. That is not, that is not our nature. We've been cut off from that. The, the sacrifice of Jesus Christ cut us off from that. We've been made a new creation and our, our center is now Christ. Our identity is now Christ. We can't identify as a sinner and as a child of God at the same time. We, we can't. So what we are is that we, we are a child of God who still has the capacity to sin, but we don't identify with that sin. That sin is not who we are. We are not a sinner. We are a child of God who has stumbled. We are a child of God who has, has chosen incorrectly. That, that, that's who we are. And, um, and that's, that's what we have to keep in mind. So, this is so important because our identity is important. Uh, how we see ourselves is important. But, if we completely turn, if we completely turn around, if we completely just walk away from it, uh, that's, that's when there's going to be difficulty. That's when our identity changes the fact. Um, we're no longer interested in being a, a, a child of God. We want to do our thing. We want to do our own thing. We want to. We want to meet our. We want to be self-indulgent. We 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 want what we want, and we want it now. Uh, and and that's really what we're talking about here. It is when when a righteous person or a child of God uh, turns from that, turns from the relationship, because it's about the relationship. Turns away from the relationship and, and uh, has no interest anymore. Uh, basically, they move out of the house. They've moved out of the house and they're gone. Um, they'll be lost. They will be lost. Uh, the sheep that Jesus went, went after was lost. It was lost. And, uh, and they can remain lost. They can return, but they can remain lost at the same time. And that's what we have to be on guard for, because it doesn't matter who you are. If we are not maintaining our garden, if we are not, uh, if we are not maintaining that relationship, if we're not pressing in, if we're not growing, then we can grow away, and and wickedness. We can just fall back into wickedness uh, because it's something we're familiar with, and and because there's there's parts of us that are still selfish. And uh, yeah, but don't don't confuse it. Don't don't confuse that. Um, there, there's a difference between um, re-entering rebellion and and um, making wrong choices. You, you can make an occasional wrong choice. That doesn't make you a sinner. It makes you a child who needs to repent. And that's what you have to keep in mind. And there's all kinds of scripture that backs that up. But we've been talking about this for a while. So um, you just keep that in mind, and uh, the good news that we walk away with this is that the, uh, the wicked can be saved. Yeah, isn't that awesome? Because I'm saved, and I was wicked. Yeah. So you'll be blessed, encouraged, and have a great day.